The Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, and its allies have embarked on a nationwide protest over a lingering minimum wage issue. The organized labor has alleged that some members of the National Assembly are trying to remove the minimum wage from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent list. And for more on this, uh, we're joined by the Deputy Chairman, Joint Action Front, Achike Chudi. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. It's a pleasure. All right, let, let's start with, you know, the reasons for the protests. Um, what, do you think the NLC has a strong point? I'm sure most Nigerians will tell you that they have a strong point. Uh, what most Nigerians might not um, understand is why this action now, this protest, you know, has not happened long before now. Uh, we all know the, the processes that led to the agreement for the new minimum wage. It took about uh, two, three years of hard bargaining uh, with the government, especially state governments, trying to be mischievous about it and then, you know, being quite reluctant uh, to agree to the minimum wage. And eventually it was signed willingly by all the parties involved state a government, federal government, the workers, representatives, and then they organized the private sector. Uh, but since that time, uh, more than half, much more than half of uh, the states in the country have agreed to implement the minimum wage. Of course, we all know, and a lot of Nigerians will tell you that uh, the minimum wage is scandalous uh, because it, can, it cannot do anything meaningful to improve on the lives of the average worker. Even if you do not have a family, it's a scandal to live on 30,000 naira a month. I'm not to talk of um, a family with a, fa I mean, with a, a worker with a family of about three, four, uh, that has to pay electricity bills and so many other things. You have to put food on the table and all that. So uh, the fact that uh, the uh, states are refusing to pay these scandalous uh, salaries uh, to their workers is an indication of the unconscionable attitude, you know, and the, the lack of uh, care of uh, the political elites when it comes to the welfare of the people that they lead. Okay, could, could, yes. so, so you, don't, you don't think uh, that states should be able to decide what minimum wage works for them? You, they sh you don't, shouldn't they be able to decide um, what figures they're comfortable with paying? Um, either below or, you know, above the federal government's uh, minimum wage uh, figure. Well, that's, it. that's part of the contradiction of uh, the whole scenario because the states have always been involved. They have always been involved in all negotiations. And I, I just, when we were talking, I told you about uh, the parties that were involved in these negotiations. The states were represented. They had representatives, of, I mean, governors representing uh, the various states. They were in constant consultation with the governors that were representing them. You know, so uh, that, the, that a, a particular amount was arrived at had the input of the governors. Now, what is going on, I think, is an act of mischief on the part of uh, the political elites. Because in the first place, we are not talking, we are talking about a national minimum wage. What that means is that there must be a base below which you cannot fall. No state in the country is supposed to fall. Do not forget that Nigeria is a, is a federation. Nigeria is a federation that is made up of citizens who could be indigenous to some states, either as a result of residency or some other you know, uh, reasons, you know, as provided by the constitution. But ultimately, at the same time, 
all the citizens of states in this country are all citizens under the federal arrangement, are citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So the government has a right, acting in concert with other stakeholders, including the governors that you talked about, okay. to fix a minimum wage. Now, any government, any state that believes that it can do well above the minimum wage is very free to sit down with their own workers and decide on what to give them. But we are saying that there must be a basis. There must be a base. You cannot fall below that base. It's a minimum wage. It okay. is minimum. All right. So, yes. And of course, now we're talking about a strike. You earlier mentioned how long it took before the NLC was able to you know, get the government in agreement for the new minimum wage. Yes. How successful do you think this current protest will uh, be? And do you think that you know your last point will be one of the things that must be um, The workers on? will achieve some victory, first of all, and that is to ensure that that uh, the workers, the issue of workers and the minimum wage is not removed from the exclusive list and just put, and put into the concurrent list. Because once that happens, that will sound a death knell to the NLC. They are going to kill the NLC as, an, as a central labor organization. Yeah. So I do not think the workers are going to agree because they know the implications. But beyond that, I think it depends. The workers have the capacity to succeed. But whether the leadership of the workers have the political will to ensure that they succeed, that is a completely different question. All right. So we, we um, also have our correspondent, uh, Mary Chinda, who is live uh, at the venue of the protest. Uh, we're going to quickly also speak with her. Uh, thanks for uh, joining us, uh, Mary Chinda. Yeah, hi. Thanks, Asarika. All right. So quickly, give us uh, updates on the situation right now where you are. Okay. So, uh, so of course, it's about uh, past 12. And... Um, it's been a heated um, protest here, um, though it's been very peaceful. Um, the State House of Assembly um, is where over, over 150 um, um, workers, members of the NLC and the TUC, have gathered to register um, their displeasure over, the, over what's actually going on. But, uh, just like um, um, the guest you had in the studio, um, had actually analyzed it is for, for workers, Nigerian workers, it is a no-no to get to um, um, put up the issue of the national minimum wage on the concurrent list instead of the exclusive list. Okay, and, and uh, you know, in the time that you've been there, have uh, any of the members of the national of the State House of Assembly addressed the protesters? And is there also leadership of the NLC present? Yes, the leadership of the NLC Lagos is firmly present here. In fact, we had an interview with her not uh, not um, not long ago, and in her words, it is wicked, it is barbaric for anyone to think that the issue of the national minimum wage should be put on the concurrent list instead of the exclusive list. Also, in her words, she says she's asking that. The 30,000 euro minimum wage has not even been uh, um, paid um, across board by all of the states, you know, and then when you put it in the hands of the state government in the concurrent list, then it would leave workers suffering, especially, you know, because she thinks that the, uh, governors would want to um, um, uh, um, use the, the, the guise of COVID-19 to say they will not be able to pay workers the 30,000 a narrow minimum wage. Again, um, the, the, the members of the Nigerian Labour Congress and the CUC gathered here actually received a warm welcome from um, the leadership of the State Assembly. We had about five top um, leaders of the State Assembly who had come out, you know, to empathize with them and to say to them, we receive your complaint and we're going to work towards it. Okay, and, and uh, of course, uh, what next? Uh, after speaking with the uh, House of Assembly members, um, are they still adamant and still present and willing to continue with the protest? Well, um, I've spoken with the leadership and I've spoken to speak with um, the leader of the team here in Lagos. Um, it, it seems to be um, some sort of satisfactory conversation that the leadership of the Lagos State House of Assembly has had with the NLC and the TUC. And um, according to them, they registered their company. You know, this is, uh, this is the um, leader of the TUC here in Lagos. Now, they seem to be a satisfactory conversation. Um, so do you want to put me a word or two? Thank you. My name is Comrade Benga. I found I am chairman of the Regional Council of the State Council. We have come here today to express our pleasure 
over the ablution bill, that evil bill sponsored by Honorable Garba Dati Mohammed of Sabongari Federal Constituency from uh, Cardinal State. And what we have told the State Assembly, the local Assembly, who came out to receive us after some delay at the gate, they came out just for the delay. And if a short letter will be submitted, will be transmitted after to the National Assembly, the Federal House of Representatives, and Senate. What we're saying is that we are totally against that bill, seeking to remove the minimum wage from the exclusive legislative list and to put it on the concurrent legislative list. We know the reason they are seeking to do this. We know it is uh, what you call the voice of Jacob, the hand of uh, We know what they are trying it is from the state of now saying that they do not have the capacity to put the minimum wage. But what we are telling them right now is that they lack the foresight to see that what they seek to only bring more problems as a nation. Well, what they seek today, they have forgotten that the minimum wage, when it was discussed and signed on through in 2019, was jointly signed by organized people, the federal government and the and NECA, who are employer people. What that bill means, sorry, what the minimum wage as a law means is that every worker, wherever the worker may be, whether with the government or working in or any company, will be benchmarked against that term of technical. If you take it away from the exclusive loop and put it at the point, those employers will be at liberty to do as they wish to workers. That will bring more hardship. And what you will get eventually is an increase in insecurity. Because how do you ensure social security, which is the bedrock of security in any case, how do you ensure social security if you cannot ensure this way for workers? And what we're telling them in clear terms, if they do not stop this deal, we are ready, we are prepared to resist it, everything right. we have until they do the need. Thank you. All right, thank you All right. very Thank you very much. Um... Mary Chinda for, of course, uh, speaking with us and for bringing in uh, that uh, um, uh, perspective. Of course, we'll connect with you again in uh, later news uh, bulletins. All right, I'm going to go back to um, Mr. Chikechu, the, the uh, Deputy Chairman, Joint Action Front. I, I want your quick response and then also um, tell us about the reaction of Nigerian workers to you know this conversation. It doesn't seem like it's a thousand strong crowd over there. You know, do 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 you think that there's still a lot of faith in the NLC and other um, labor organizations? Well, it, it, when it comes to matters that um, affect them, of course, there's a lot of faith uh, because uh, they know that uh, they cannot do it alone. They know they need their leadership uh, and the direction that the leadership is going to give to them. Uh, to be able to make meaningful impact. Uh, we can't look at the Africans, they are capable of uh, mobilizing much more than, than you have there. So I think it was a matter of uh, expediency. This is the uh, point they wanted to make. If they wanted a much bigger, they would just shut down the entire structure of uh, the state and then pull people out on the streets. Uh, you can see that they have not done that. But if the government does not respond in a favorable manner, then they will up the ante and take it to a level that will, be, that will distort the economy of the country. And I do not think that it is something that they, would, they think about lightly because of the obvious implications. All right. Um, Achika Chudi, thank you so much uh, for joining us and for speaking with us um, on thank this. You. Looking forward to another conversation and a follow-up on this uh, discussion. Thank you.